Okay, so I have now officially swatched every single lipstick Lisa Aldridge has released on my lips, other than the five new ones, but that will come soon. Hey guys, it's I Jing. Um, so today we are going to do the nudes and the browns and dark purples. This is the third video in a series, so you know what's going to happen. And then I will post the foundation update video, I think, because I started watching my old foundation video from a year ago and oh my god, oh my god. The angle of the camera was so bad, the light was coming half halfway through, it was just terrible. Like I know the product is no longer new, so I don't know if people will still be interested in hearing it. But you know what? Not, not everything new is better, you know? New does not mean better. We are gonna just get into it. If you are a new viewer, make sure you subscribe. This is a shade that Lemma. Lisa describes this as a nuanced but wearable soft beigey hue. I mean, it's just a light nude, really. That's it. So I really have an issue with the shade Lemma Pre because it is so incredibly patchy. Like, can you see that? It just looks so bad, right? It's settling to my fine lines, it's grabbing onto the dry patches on my lips and do you know what happened? I put this on, looked at myself in the mirror, saw how bad it looked, took it off, went to the bathroom, used a lip scrub, reapplied it and it still looks bad. It looks maybe a marginally bit better but it, it still looks terrible and I'm so disappointed because I honestly thought this was going to be one of my favourite shades. Anyway, let's compare it to the others. So I've got Kitty Mischief on this side and Lemon Pre on this side. This is uh, Velvet Intrigue against Lemon Pre. So Velvet Intrigue, obviously being one of the Velvet formulas, has more pigment. And Velvet Intrigue is definitely one of my favourite shades. Kitten Mischief. Playful, light, buttery caramel pink tone that is like a peachy toffee. So I've got the shade Dance Card over here and Kitten Mischief over here. So you can see Dance Card. Um, actually it's a little bit paler, a little bit more pink compared to Kid of Mischief. And just so you know, Dance Card versus Lemma Pre is like Dance Card is so obviously uh, more pink and brighter. Lemma Pre is, you know, obviously that pale nude colour. Kid of Mischief and Spirited Away compared. I do think if you just put on one coat of Spirited Away, you could get a very similar finish with Kid of Mischief. I really built up these two colours so you can see more of a difference. But considering your natural lip pigment and the you know how many layers you apply, I think you don't need both. So if you prefer something like maybe just a touch darker, I would recommend Spirited Away. But if you have maybe you know paler skin tones, then I think Kitten Mischief will be good for you. Painterly against Kitten Mischief. This is Velvet Intrigue against Kitten Mischief. And I've got Velvet Petal against Kitten Mischief. By the way, this shadow here is my like mirror that is blocking a little bit of the sun. So uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I do want a little bit of natural light because the colour just like it looks better in natural light. So um, just ignore the top of my head being cut off by a shadow. Anyway, this is a Velvet Petal. Um, sheer down and comparing it to Kitten Mischief. So Velvet Petal is a little bit more pink and Kitten Mischief has more of that woody undertone to it. And I've got Velvet Fawn over on the other side now. Velvet Fawn looks a lot more cool tone, doesn't it? So then I tried to sheer down Velvet Fawn to see what I would get from Kitten Mischief or something similar to it. But Velvet Fawn is just like, it's not too much of that woodiness is, and it's too cool. And this is Painterly. Deep mauvey chocolate hue with a blue undertone. So this is Spirited Away and this is Painterly. Like, this is what I mean, but I feel like these two look completely identical on my lips. I think um, Spirited Away is just a little bit more red. There, there's just not enough difference between the two for me to have both of these lipstick. I think depending on your skin tone and your natural lip colour, you know, Spirited Away will appear a little bit more red on you and maybe painterly will little appear a little bit more brown or maybe plum on you and this is me me in Berlin compared to painterly so these two in the bullet look quite similar but you can obviously see that me in Berlin is a lot more brown and that definitely translates on my lips 
This is a shade of spirit in a way. Modern rosewood, which traverses the color spectrum from brown to pink to red with a warm tone underscoring. Mimi in Berlin. Deliciously rich tan shade, which delivers a brown nude across all skin tones. And this is Night Thoughts compared to Meet Me in Berlin. So Night Thoughts, Meet Me in Berlin, Night Thoughts, it's, you know, that kind of plummy purple colour. So I've got Velvet Affair on this side and Me Me in Berlin this side. The two are quite similar, but Me Me in Berlin is just like a teeny bit darker, even though it doesn't seem like it because of the formula, but it's just a touch darker. And I've got Velvet Decade over here against Meet Me in Berlin. This is Velvet Decade completely mixed in together with a balm. And this is what it looks like on my lips. You can see Velvet Decade sheer down, which has got like, like a touch more purple when you compare it to uh, Meet Me in Berlin, but very similar. Night Thoughts. A creme de cassis tone is essential black cherry hue that suits all skin tones. This is Velvet Jazz compared to Night Thoughts. Because of time, I divided this half of my lips into halves again, so it's kind of like having quarters. But anyway, so this is Velvet Myth compared to Night Thoughts, and this is Velvet Midnight compared to Night Thoughts. I'm going to shear both of these down and show you. So I've shielded them down. I think they're actually just a little bit more purple than Night Thoughts, can you see? So when they're sheared down, they, the brightness really comes through. So now we've got Velvet Decade against Night Thoughts. So this is Velvet Decade sheared down compared with Night Thoughts. Again, they look actually quite similar. So my phone was recording the wrong bit, obviously, as you can see, but this is Velvet Intrigue. It is a delicately warm, light peach rose beige, and it's the lightest of all the true velvets. So we've got Velvet Petal against Velvet Intrigue. I love both of these shades. Uh, they're definitely in my top favourites. Velvet Petal is a lot more pink, as you can see. And I've got Velvet Fawn on this side compared to Velvet Intrigue. So Velvet Fawn is a touch darker, and it's definitely more cool toned than Velvet Intrigue. And this is a Velvet Muse over here compared to Velvet Intrigue. So Muse, again, is a little bit darker and a little bit more cool toned. And lastly, we've got Velvet Affair compared to Velvet Intrigue. So Velvet Affair has got that rich brown to it compared to Intrigue. Velvet Fawn. A pretty and delicate beige cafe shade. It's got lively, cool and warm undertones to make it extra flattering. And we've got Velvet Muse compared to Velvet Fawn. So Velvet Muse is a little bit more pink. They're both cool toned, but Muse has just got a little bit more pinkness to it. And this is Velvet Affair compared to Fawn. So Velvet Affair is warmer, more brown. And this is Velvet Muse. Sensual smoky rosewood shade with a perfect mix of pinky brown and dirty rose undertones. And this is Velvet Affair on this side. So Velvet Affair is a little bit warmer, it's a little bit more brown, but actually the two shades are quite similar. Velvet Affair. I forgot how good the shade is. Earthy, soft caramel brown with easygoing cool girl vibes. And this is Velvet Cinnabar against Velvet Affair. And this is Velvet Decade against Velvet Affairs. Velvet Decade. Divinely decadent burnt chocolate shade and it's very wearable because of blue and red undertones, which stops it from being a flat brown. The decade and cinnabar are so different, it's not even worth comparing. Velvet Myth is a wildly vivid mulberry shade. It's got notes of red and blue and it's really good for brightening the face and whitening the teeth. The shade looks a lot brighter here in the video clip because I scrubbed my lips so much with a face halo. It had this weird water barrier on my lips so it took the colour differently. I swatched it again today when I was editing and you can see the colour is a lot deeper. It's more reflective of the photo on the website. So guys, I wasn't really happy with the last few clips of the video because my lips were just scrubbed raw and it took the colour differently. So uh, you saw a photo of Velvet Myth 
loved. And now this is a comparison of Velvet Jazz and Velvet Myth. They actually look quite similar. So Velvet Jazz is definitely more red, um, but Velvet Myth is just a touch more purple. And here we've got Velvet Midnights against Velvet Myth. And we've got New Wave, Velvet Myth. This is Velvet Midnight. A devastating darkest shade, a true plush blackberry hue for the classic vamp in Every Woman. The shade is a little bit patchy, but dark purple is obviously a very difficult colour to formulate. Okay friends, I've only got lip balm on now. You can see Velvet um, Midnight really stained my lips. I have now officially swatched all of Lisa Aldridge's lipsticks, other than the new ones, but obviously that will be coming soon. I'll see you in the next video. Yes. But I, I will only see you in the next video if you subscribe, so hint, hint. All right, okay, bye. Hello, hi, it's Ijing here. Right, hello, it's Ijing. What am I doing? Right, I know what I'm doing. I'm doing the nudes and the browns and the purple lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge today. Okay, right, awesome. Honestly, trying to figure out good lighting is just the bane of my life. <sighs> right, okay, let's get on with it. Fawn, 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 dawn, fawn. Uh, um, and then, uh, yeah. Oh my god, I'm just rambling like crazy.